Buenos dias. Welcome to Cozumel. Hola. I know. We're always excited to be back we in are. Cozumel. Now, to plan for today is mm -hmm. we're going to do something that we've just done recently, but we loved it so much, we're going to do it again. We're going to Paradise Beach Club. We really did love it. I know. <laughs> so, we're heading back there. Um, we've gotten up, gotten ready. We're not even going to get breakfast on the ship. No. Because last time we got there, they were like, hey, want some food? Want some drinks? Here's some food. And we're like, okay. I'm not really hungry quite yet anyway. That's so. true. I yeah. mean, the best breakfast is like chip and guac breakfast. Oh, you know it's I mean? like local authentic Mexican food. Hello, yeah. yum. Hello. All right, let's go. So we're going to go grab a taxi yes. and roll on over. All right. <laughs> Gangways are on deck one. They've got water right here you can grab as you get off the ship and I guess that is included because they're not charging us for it. Good morning, bright Cozumel. Uh -huh. It is bright out here. I believe there are only two total ships in port right now. Norwegian Breakaway is way down at the other pier, and nobody is at Puerto Maya. That's crazy. What? All right, we got sniffed by the dog, and we're heading out to grab a taxi. Out here we got all checked in this pool is already calling our name we'll probably sneak out to the beach oh i haven't been able to take my mask off yet oops but now that we're outside i can but i think we're gonna set up in one of these beautiful beds over here by the pool again all your floaty friends are already in the pool waiting for you <laughs> i know that's cute got that menu cracking again we ordered some chips and guac and a couple of drinks to get us started we're gonna have to try some different stuff today Tacos were delicious last time, but we gotta mix it up. Now, I'm not saying I'm not gonna grab a taco. <laughs> There's all the cocktails and whatnot on the back. I'm pretty sure they can make whatever you want, but that's the specialties. Well, they brought us a cute little stand. So we decided to try start off with the strawberry mojitos. That's Dee's selection. I'm like, she always makes good decisions. I'll he just copy her. He now, usually just you like say something and it sounds good, and I'm like, sure, I'll take that too. So <laughs> we try to make it easy too, just make one thing. That's true. Your mojito in paradise. Very, very literally, yeah. <laughs> very strawberry. All the floats are going crazy in the pool. Oh, it's an escape. Oh, oh, thank you. The wind has changed direction. Oh, they're bringing the pillows over. There go. We got here just as they were setting up this morning, so <laughs> they didn't even have the pillows on the beds, but they've got us hooked up now. That is so awesome. Wow. Ooh, we each got to order a chips and guac now, too. I think I said that earlier, but yeah. anyway, there they are. We are fixing to get in water modes. We're gonna start in the pool today. We're gonna to see how the pool treats us. We know it's gonna treat us well. <laughs> it's beautiful. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check that refreshment level. Brisk. Well, I love it. Yeah, this is the best part. It's called Dee tries to get in her float in the pool. We got like chill music happening. Nice. By George, she's done it. No, she hasn't. She really hasn't. <laughs> Ah, success. Oh, oh, hey, my shadow can almost pinch you. Oh, true. I'll, well, I'm up, still up here on the land, so I can be receiving of the drinks. Okay. Here comes some goodness, right there. Yeah, make sure you stir, because I saw a dangerous amount of clear liquid on the bottom, but I got the passion fruit lot. mojito. Somewhere. Dee went with a Diet Coke, or Diet Pepsi, and coconut rum. Good morning, Flamingo. Is your name Palmer? All right, this is Palmer the Flamingo. Actually, I guess that's the brand of all these beach toys. We shall name you Palmer forever and ever. We could live here. I could easily we live here. We do for today. Yeah. Yeah, this is our home for today. I could easily live here. <laughs> it's lovely. Just gaze at all this taco truck gloriousness. Uh, yeah, I mean, they have, they have beds. You could totally live here. <laughs> oh, you are being attacked by floats. <laughs> it's like a parade coming by. I'm in a parade. I love a parade. <laughs> Dee has decided she's good at pool tricks. All right, what's happening here? Wow, whoa. I need to know the intent. Are you trying to kick it to yourself? Because that just looked like you had a little spasm. <laughs> um, I was just trying to kick it up. Right, okay. okay well, let's, but let's, with a drink in my hand, it's gonna be very dangerous. Let's try that again. Yeah, this is <laughs> going really well. Okay, no, okay, I, apparently I don't have any leverage. Here. Okay. Hey, Ooh, I did it. beautiful, first try, nailed it. <laughs> Yeah, we are not right. We are just goofballs anyway. You know, we've literally had some chips and guac and a couple of beverages. I feel fine. No, you know, no, we're fine. just goofballs in general. 
Huh. Come here and be a goofball yourself. It's awesome. I know. I know uh, last time we were here, we talked about they were running a $50 special. That has ended. I think last time I looked at the website, they've got a 10% off special. It's normally $64 per person to come here for adult. Um, and they were doing 10% off, I think through like the end of 2021 or something. Just check their website. I'll put it down in the thingamajiggy description and all that so you can check it. Uh, yeah, but that's it. That was my end of my words. I guess I should mention also the cab fare was $15 per vehicle per way. So $30 total for the two of us to get back and forth. Depends on the port. Yeah. Oh, true. We're at the slightly closer one. And if you find somebody to split your cab fare with, hey, because, you know, it doesn't cost any more to add up to like four people in your vehicle here. So not bad. Yeah. D has decided to dismount and join the refreshment with me. You notice I'm just walking around. I haven't gotten down yet. <laughs> it's not that cold. But I just haven't decided to commit to it yet. Them. Yeah. She has decided to go in flamingo mode if she can. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think that's what she <laughs> You need an instruction manual for the flamingo. <laughs> I don't think this is how you do it. Like, I'm like... I mean, you know, it I'm works. On it. You're squishing his poor head. Poor little flamingo. He's got a broken neck now. Oh, I think I'm supposed to sit on it. Oh, you're supposed to, like, ride it like a, like a horse? <laughs> Man, yeah, we'll leave Paul Moore alone over there. I'm gonna try and take pretty Instagram pictures, but I'm not <laughs> Wow. Mine'll be like, ah. That's the best Instagram pictures. Falling off the flamingo, gracefully. All right, you ready? It's time for pool volleyball action. Oh gosh, uh, you're so good at sports. I don't know how this is gonna work because um, I have a camera in one hand, so I'm gonna try to ping this over to you. Okay. Let's see. That was not um, in your direction at all. Here we go. Underhand lob. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to lob it at you again. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> Ma'am, you don't get... Wow. I think that's illegal. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Oh, check all this action out. Oh, this is the best sports action ever. That was pretty good. That was good until it wasn't. Like three. Oh, uh, our game is being interrupted. Okay, it turned into basketball. No. Wow, that. Actually, yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, this might work better. Okay. Nailed it. That was Guys, so the difficulty level on these games is so hard, you just don't even understand. Woo. See, I mean, we're professionals. All right, see if you can get the third pine up afloat. Yes. All right, so we just let the floats go on their own. We're kind of at their own whim. Let's see if I can nail it. Oh, professional. This is this is literally like toddler game. games or something. You know, we're pretending we're these awesome sports people. This is not hard, you guys. Wow. Look at this go. One more. Oh, no, no, it went in. <laughs> Wait, rescue, rescue. There, Ooh. I got the assist. All right, see if you can make it land on our friend Palmer as Palmer okay. floats by. It's gonna be difficult because it's just gonna bounce off. So here, let's let's both pelt Palmer with balls and make Palmer feel really welcome as, as he or she floats by. Okay. Here, Palmer. Oh, right in the noggin. Oh, I almost did. All right, that's enough. That's enough the sports excitement. No, no, no. This is the, this is not the pool content you signed up for. That's probably the pool content you signed up for. She. <laughs> Still got this whole big beautiful pool to ourselves. You don't even want to know how much we paid to rent out this whole you pool. You say that every time. I know. And well, there these are two more folks, people. We made them pay um, us to get in here. These no, aren't in here yet, but they will. Nice and peaceful. Oh, you're going mat mode. I can do this. I'm stronger than the mat. Don't dunk your beautiful Cosmo hat that I you know. actually bought here oh, last time in their gift shop. It's so cute. I love it. I did it. Nice. Are you proud? I am. I'm proud. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to do that. So I feel like it's time to institute our Paradise Beach spin. I finally got my shoulders in the water. It was glorious and delightful. Are you having a good time back there? No, I'm good. Okay. All of a sudden I heard like, whoo, like, you, you know. Did. I was just hoping you didn't hear that. Okay. No, that no, usually means either, awesome, uh, really. either means she fell off in the water and, uh, it's... Heard a, ah, thanks for clarifying. Yeah. <sighs> Gosh, this is glorious. Hello, Cosmo. Anyway, <laughs> that was it. Hydrate mode, activate. Water. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna return to the land and probably order some food and hang out in our little bitty boo some more. We got some burrito action for lunch. D got the steak and cheese burrito. I got the arrachera. I can't roll my R's. It's the, the beef burrito. 
uh, we were even able to sit here and use some Wi-Fi and catch up on work. Oh my gosh, working in paradise. Oh, virgin voyages. I know, yeah, Celebrity's internet has been a little sketchy, so I'm using the internet here to upload the last couple of episodes that we need to get out from Mardi Gras. But I mean, you can't beat this view. Just chilling. This is the best work view. It really is. Update. Those burritos were stinking delicious. I don't know why we didn't try those last time. The tacos were good, but gosh, those burritos. I think and, it's my favorite thing I've had at any beach club ever. Yeah, and then <laughs> so good. it was good. And then mine, I guess, was basically like yours, but minus the cheese. So I should just break down and get no, the steak and cheese. cheese. Yeah, mine did not have oh, yeah. the cheese. Uh, but then we just put in an order for a couple of the flavors of shrimp that we know we like. The grilled shrimp was delicious here. So we got garlic shrimp and coconut shrimp on the way. Coconut's fried, but you know, coconut shrimp, you got to try the coconut shrimp. But anyway, eating food, doing a little work, living the best life. I know. Oh, look at that. All right, so this is our garlic, guys. Here, we'll just put them up here. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. So let's just take a closer look at these bad boys. Garlic grilled, delicious. Coconut, I mean, you can't go wrong. The citrusy dipping sauce. Oh, man. As we're approaching the lunch hour, things are starting to liven up a little bit. I know they said they were a little busier yesterday, but we are here on another quiet day today. Well, I'm gonna take a little trip to the men's club. Look at all these showers. Oh, welcome to the club. Nice, we got like four pee-pees and four poo-poos. I like it. But actually the highlight to me is this big old hand washing station out here, because you know, that's important in this day and age. Well, it's always been important, but people consider it more important now. Just because some people might have been gross in the past and only learned how to be clean in 2020. Anyway, anyway. All right, well, we've had some delicious food and I think we're gonna head out to the beach for a little bit. We'll see how the snorkel moating looks, but we might just have a peek at the beach and go from there. We will just wander this handy little brick path back here and see what is up with this beach today. Oh, they're building a new little beach bar back here. I know last time we were here, they said they were gonna take that whole hammock section down and make a beach bar. So in progress, hammocks are gone. There's the pier. Look at all this beach, all your friendly water toys are out there, your little dolphins where the fish like to live. <laughs> There's the pier. We might wander out there and get some pictures with that swing, because that was fun. We're snorkeling from the air. We had heard that sometimes there's manta ray that lives out here, I guess. Yeah. There's a little snorkel entrance. All oh, these cute swings out here. Wow, cinch swing. There she goes. <laughs> we'll have an end of the dock spin, because why not? I hear Rick Astley playing in the background. I mean, what more could you want? Here, I'll help push you. Oh, that's not how that works. There we go. Wow, so convincing. This water is looking good today. I think we're just gonna make it a pool day though, but I mean, look at this. That pool's calling our name, though. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice the little stairs over here. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you could just get in right there, and there you go. I, don't know, I noticed a lot of dive boats come, because I don't think you're too far from the, the reef. There's a reef. Yeah. Beautiful. Where are my fish legs? Somebody playing some 80s music. I like it. You do. Right, let's venture back to the beach. Whoosh. Yeah, see folks inside the taco truck. I guess maybe that's where they make your tacos and your burritos. Cool. Oh, Dee has found her doggy friend again. Mercy. That's a sleepy dog. We saw him walking around earlier, but he sure is tired now. Hey, papa. <laughs> Leave me alone. We've got a lot of vests and gear and stuff up here. They do diving drills. A little shopping. The restaurant and bar down here right on the beach. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our property tour. We just figured <laughs> we'd take a wander since we're out here on the beach. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> oh, yes. You can get all your goodies and things here. Some flap flaps. Little cover-ups and whatnot. Sunglasses. Ooh, they got ice cream for three dollar. <laughs> just, what do they got? Choco tacos? No, no, no. There's our nice little bar and restaurant area here. Oh yes, the birds. I guess they're, are they scarlet macaws? 
That sounds appropriate. Let's lighten you up so we can see you. He's like, oh wait, I want to turn around and be on camera. <laughs> you are a model bird. Very pretty. Pose for camera. <laughs> give me happy. Give me angry. Give me excite. Or just sit there. They Let's go. Look the same, yeah. yeah. You guys are beautiful. Me included. Yeah. Especially Jay. Thanks. Stop. Be nice to me. Well, it's a cool little restaurant area. Yeah, we walked over here a little closer to it. I see they got some tents out on the beach, maybe looking like they're doing some massages and stuff out there. Nice. And then in case we get lost, we are here. Oh look, Paradise Beach is actually marked on the map. Boom, right there. So down that trail was some bathrooms and changing rooms I remember from last time. This trail will take us back to our beautiful, glorious pool though. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see they got massages right here by the pool, too. Okay. Yeah, the spa folks came around and talked to us earlier, so I bet you get massage right here by the pool. Alright, pool, we're coming back for you now. We missed you. We gotta get readjusted to it. You found your ledge you can sit on. Well, a step, really. But we've been meeting all kinds of cool people. Good gracious, we've been having conversations in the pool. We just met a lovely group from New Orleans, yes. and then we just talked to Becky and Dawn from Alabama, and they're all on the Norwegian breakaway, breakaway right yep. now. And uh, super sweet. I love meeting people. Awesome. Yeah, we didn't catch their names, but there's our lovely group from New Orleans up there. We'll just give them a little pinch. A little pinch, pinch. Hey, y'all. They watch us every day. You got, love that. you got pinched in the video. <laughs> I'm not sure who I pinched. There's four of them, but <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so what is your official verdict now that we've been to Paradise Beach a whole two times? I know. How are you feeling? So I've officially voted it my favorite. Whoa. <laughs> I have. It's just, if you like a chill vibe, a big pool, amazing service, really good food. That burrito is something else. I'm telling it you. It really was. A I beautiful beach, one. a cool boardwalk, lots of photo ops. It's just, it's really nice. Now, it doesn't have the booming loud music you might think of as like a, a beach club. Yeah, they're playing Justin Bieber right I mean, now. It's we kind of like that, honestly, though, because you can have conversations with each other. You're not shouting over music. And there's no um, pool bar, like, in, in the pool. But it doesn't matter because the service is so good and they're so attentive. And, yeah, I've officially named it my number one beach place. Number one beach, beach resort. Place. Is that what you call it? Beach resort. Yeah. Yeah, in Cosmo, for sure. Wow, we are having a ball, literally. I'm being attacked by floats. <laughs> Palmer is here, uh, pineapple float, just in case you missed it. So, yeah, literally having a ball as well as every <laughs> other float that just decided, oh gosh, to come by. Hey now. I love it. Dee has gone to rescue a rogue cup from the pool. Look at that. Not only does she save the ocean, she saves any sea turtles that could be in the pool. Yes, well done. Now we have the ultimate dilemma. We want to try more food here, <laughs> but we also want to stay in the pool. <laughs> Talk about your first world problems. And I'm not that hungry. Now, granted, I'm sure they would bring us food in the I'm pool, but that. I saw something on the menu that was called like a loaded volcano nacho. And that just sounded magnificent. Um, I think we're going to do that. So yeah. I guess we will get out of the pool because, you know, we've been in the pool a lot. I'm probably sunburned. Uh, probably. So <laughs> we're going to go three times, chill on our bed and maybe we will try these crazy volcano nachos as well as anything else that strikes our eye. But then we're not going to be hungry for dinner tonight. But sacrifices. These are the real first world problems, I'm telling right, you. Right. This, I'm just... Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, I think we'll hop out of the pool and try some more food, and then that's it. Not be hungry forever. Not be hungry forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, the volcanoes have arrived. Now we asked him, "How big are these suckers?" And you know, do we just get one to share? He's like, "No, no, they're very small." I mean, these aren't that small. Is not small. They're substantial. <laughs> so we got the mixed, which means they have chicken and beef on them. I see jalapenos and beans and cheese and you know what, just a bunch of goodness. Ooh. Wise decision, wise decision. Ooh, we just got some intel. They came by and said that they've got a few new beverages that they've worked up that are not on the menu yet. And they said, would you like to try them? And we said, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna see what they got up their sleeve here with some new beverages that they might be adding to the menu. Rum, uh, passion fruit, okay. 
Vodka mango strawberry. And okay. Palmar red fruit. Gotcha. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yours was called an exotic passion, mm -hmm. which I know it has this, I didn't realize this Palmar, which is, this is the same brand which provided the uh, floats that are in their pool. It has hard seltzer in it, I guess. Yeah. Cute. And then mine is called the Flamango. Fl Mango. Don't call it a Flamingo. It's a Flamango. And it's got this seltzer in here. So, yeah. Different seltzers. These are going to be on the upcoming menu. Gotcha. And they update it, apparently. So that's pretty cool. So we get to try them. Like, one of the first people, I guess. Ooh. Woohoo. <laughs> so this should be passion fruity. Oh, that's good. But it's got it's like light it. and refreshing, and then like you get the hint of fruit. So yeah, that is really tasty. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Not spill it all down myself. <laughs> I think that is good. I've never thought about because you know they make like beer cocktails, mm -hmm. like a michelada. Is that a beer cocktail? But this is like a hard seltzer cocktail. Really nice. Never thought about it, but it's dang on refreshing. And it's healthy. Yeah, this is healthy. You know, we're all about the healthy lifestyle. It's calories. It's true. I mean, I like it. It's a nice option. That's nice. We're having a war as to whose is best. Dee actually likes hers best, and I like mine best. So, <laughs> Hannah Montana, They're best both of both worlds. Different. Yeah, but that's cool. I guess you'll be able to order, like, the seltzers and stuff off of their new menu. Dang, so many new things. I like it. Oh, they just brought us the brand new menu. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is going to be actually, he said, starting tomorrow. So, of course, you know, our videos are delayed a little bit. So, what, December 1st then, because we're here on November 30th, 2021. Yeah, that's what we had, the Flamango Palmar and the Exotic Passion Palmar. So it was vodka, mango, strawberry, and berry hard seltzer, or rum, passion fruit, and passion fruit hard seltzer. But he said we are among the first to taste these cocktails because they're literally getting ready to bust out this new menu tomorrow. We're trendsetters. What? Yeah. Holy moly. They're really good. Oh, they've got kombucha on the menu as well. Interesting. I've never had kombucha, but I see up here they've got some cocktails that are going to involve kombucha. Wow. Oh, they brought us one more to try. This one's called the Spritz. This is the peach flavor. So let me see. The menu says Aperol, peach liqueur, and the peach hard seltzer from Palmar, our flamingo friend in the pool. Uh, these are like stinking light and refreshing. What is up with that? I mean, you know, it's a good thing. So my official pick is the Flamango. Dee's official pick is the Exotic Passion. But yeah, I guess this is part of like a new, I see it says Paradise Beach VIP down here at the bottom. So some kind of a new program that they're getting ready to start that may or may not be separate from their all-inclusive. But anyway, I guess check their website for details because this is all sort of developing as we sit here. But delicious. All right, the time has come where we're getting ready to say goodbye to Paradise Beach. It is about, what, 4 o'clock-ish, so we'll probably hang till about 4.30. All on board is 5.30, so we'll wander around, look at a few more things, and then hit the taxis. We don't hit them, that's rude, but you yeah, know what I mean. All right, we're making our way through the jungle up to the taxi area. Yeah. Always sad to leave. <laughs> the birds are sad that we're going to. <laughs> Well, it is not even six o'clock yet, and we are pulling away from the pier, so I guess that means everybody was back on board a little bit early. There's our pilot boat friends guiding us out. Yeah, I see old Norwegian breakaway down there at the far pier, the downtown pier. Hola! Oh, hola! Again! We're still in Mexico. No, uh, we're still I mean, we're leaving, but yeah. So, yeah, we're heading away, but mm -hmm. we're getting ready to go to dinner. We had a beautiful day in Mexico, oh, though. It was the best. Oh, that's fun. It's always good. Anyway, but um, yeah, so Paradise Beach, mm -hmm. I don't know. The more we go, you know, we've been all of two times now. But the more we go, the more we love it. Yeah. That pool is just, I don't know, there's not words for just the it's vibe. Amazing. And they're like, they're adding things and trying new things and that's looking true. for input. And I really appreciate that in businesses, you know? Yeah. They're trying to like see what's cool and what, what's 
now. Was hip. Yeah, well, I was gonna say hip. <laughs> I don't know. What's cool and now and like what people are actually looking mm. for and adding it to their menu and like trying new things. I think it's great. That's true. Yeah. So thanks to Paradise Beach. Thank you. For an awesome time. We had amazing staff. Today. We did. It was Ma who? Miguel. Manuel. Oh man, help me get the names right. Manuel. Manuel. Christian, Christian and, and Eduardo. Eduardo. Gosh, you guys are awesome. Man, Thank you so much. I almost had it, but I awesome got you, man. Well, it's all right. <laughs> but we're heading to dinner now, so I think yes. we're going to go to the MDR. Mm -hmm. It's about six thirty, so we'll yeah. see if it's any busier. We're about a half hour behind our normal schedule, but <laughs> I'm you know, not hungry. Uh, you know, we're going to try a little bit of food in the dining room, but yeah. we're definitely not starving. Mm -hmm. So anyway, let's roll out. All right, come on. Bye. <laughs> Tomato focaccia down there. We've got the tzatziki and hummus back again, along with a butter. Yeah. The butter. Suddenly we heard all this clapping from upstairs in the balcony. I guess it's a parade of chefs and folks coming down the stairs. And now into the rendezvous lounge again for the game show. So the game tonight is the celebrity whisper challenge. Something about, you know, reading lips while somebody else wears headphones and that kind of thing. It's fun. You've, you've seen it on the internet, probably. Actually, we did a whisper challenge on the channel, didn't we? It was oh, yeah. <laughs> it really was. And you have to try to pass the sentence down to the last person. <laughs> the team that gets the sentence down to the end will automatically get a pass. Oh, so we all have to wear these headphones and try to pass a message up and down the line, apparently. Oh, help me. You guys want to Space the ball. All right, we can watch the other team do it, but I'm not going to be able to record while we're doing it. So, hey, this will be our example round. Strawberry. We done? Strawberry. Strawberry. Shopping. Shopping. Yes, what did you say? Shop it. Shop it. What did you say? What was the word? Strawberry. 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 <laughs> Mercy. That was, so that was fun, fun, but that was hard. <laughs> All right, we are attempting to find the rooftop terrace. Um, found it. Okay, it's an outside stairwell access from 11 up to 12. Ooh, it is windy up here. Okay, so this is the basketball court. Everything's blowing around. Well, they're showing a movie out here, which actually should probably be starting right about now. Wow, this is not the popular activity. Hey! <laughs> Woo, Dia's found a cozy bed and we're gonna watch a movie. Good enough! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna watch Blythe Spirit. Good. We'll see you uh, in a while. Oh, we're coming down a different way than we came up. I can see down. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a bar right there on the back of the ship behind the buffet. We have found the back of the ship. Well, it's dark. You know, you can't really see a lot of waves out there, but cool. I forget what this is called back. Oh, the sunset bar, I think. The mast is up higher, yeah. So it's kind of weird to get out there. There may be another way to do it, but these little doors here are the ins and outs, and then boom, there's the Deck 11 elevator lobby. So we did it. Boom. Oh, we have come back to find our paper for tomorrow and some luggage tags. D is turning the air condition to warmer because she freezing. And chocolate's on the pillows. Are they dark or milk? Because they were milk yesterday. True. Milk. Okay. Good night. Nice. We gotta get D warmed up. She <laughs> so crows. But that space is so nice. Mm. And they have like those like beds that would be like loungers cool during couches. the day, but they're super comfortable and they have really nice couches. We'll have to see it in the daylight, I think. Yeah, we probably won't. Yes. Uh, we what won't. is it? Rooftop terrace? <laughs> Rooftop terrace. That's Amazing cool. space, yeah. We were the only ones. I know. Some people came and left. Nobody stayed the whole movie but us. So it was a good movie. I liked it. Yeah, Blythe or Blythe the Spirit. Yeah, it's based on know. a well, it was a play. I think. I think it was a movie back in the 40s, too. Yeah. So, anyway. But, I thought it was good. 
I guess that's it. Yeah. Anything? I don't think we got to talk about anything else. Fun games, good food. Mm -hmm. Yippee yippee. And a nice long chill day. I loved it. We're going to bed now. So one more sea day tomorrow. It's our last <laughs> full day on the summit. Really enjoyed it overall. Yeah. Um, but it's not over yet. Oh yeah. So anyway, come back tomorrow. Yeah. More See fun. You then. <laughs> Bye.